let us consider a few examples of operating activities. Remember, operating activities are principal revenue generating activities of an enterprise. So it would have two parts, inflow and outflow. The activities which results in cash coming into the business are called as activities relating to cash inflows. Whereas those activities which result in outflow of cash are categorized here. So cash inflow would include cash sales. It is a very major source of cash for a business. Then collection from debtors. That is in case we are making credit sales, the amount that we collect or generate from our debtors are also a source of cash. Then any regular royalty fee commission that we receive from our clients is also an inflow of cash. Coming to outflow, outflow can range from cash purchases to payment to creditors that is the payment made to creditors on account of credit purchases. Then payment of operating expenses that includes payment for wages, payment for rent, payment for electricity bills, water bills and other kind of expenses which are of day to day nature. Then we have income tax. Payment made on account of income tax is also considered to be an operating activity. Now students, we must remember here that the operating activity is directly linked to the nature of the business. Like for example, somebody is running a property business. So in case of property business, purchase or sale of building would be an operating activity. Whereas for other kinds of business, it would be classified as an investing activity. So let's say in case of financing business, what would be the situation? That is a finance and an investment company. So this is a typical case that I am discussing. That is for finance or investment company. cash inflow can be interest and dividend received. That is any interest or dividend that we receive on account of investments made. Now remember since it is a finance company, it is day to day affair to invest funds or park funds in the shares or the assets of other businesses. Since we are parking and investing funds in the assets of other businesses, it is supposed to generate returns and this return might be in the form of interest or dividend. Since it is a regular activity for a financing company, the interest and dividend so received are also considered to be operating activities. Then any fund generation on account of sale of securities. Whenever you sell shares of other companies, remember for a finance company, it is a day to day affair to purchase and sell shares of other companies. It makes its earnings out of selling the securities of other businesses. So this kind of sale or the cash generated out of this kind of sale is covered under operating activities. Now coming to cash outflows. Now students, Again, remember same thing, since it is a finance company, investment of money into the shares or the assets of another company is a regular business activity. Since it is a regular activity, any cash account outflow on account of purchase of assets of other companies would be considered to be an operating activities. So purchase of securities is an operating activities. And since we are purchasing securities, it results in outflow of cash, which would be included under the cash outflow part of the operating activities.